Country and Clyde. Bidders must conduct their investigation concerning conditions of title, market value, legal standing, physical condition, and history of property. Gaviot and Four let the buyer beware of Clyde for his auction. Any representations or warranties made by the auctioneer concerning any particular property are not made pursuant to the express written instructions of the trustee and are deemed to be outside the scope of the trustee's auctioneer's appointment and may not be imputed to the trustee. Auctioneer of this trustee sale may have more than one sale or postponement to cry. The crying of all other sales and postponements will be deemed to be commenced at the time the trustee's auctioneer cries the first sale or postponement of a group of one or more sales or postponements scheduled to be conducted at the same time. Bidders believed to be colluding to limit competitive bidding may be reported to the appropriate authorities and or may be disqualified from bidding. Once qualification of the bidders is closed and the bidding has begun, trustee reserves the right to refuse to reopen the qualification process to accommodate any late applications for qualification to bid. All bids are irrevocable. To qualify as a bidder at a trustee sale, the prospective bidder, unless already qualified by the trustee, must be in attendance and must provide the auctioneer with the following. Number one, bidder's name, address, telephone number. Number two, the maximum amount the bidder may contemplate bidding at the sale. This amount must exceed the initial minimum bid. And number three, conclusive evidence the bidder possesses funds and the amount no less than the actual amount the bidder intends to bid on the sale. The auctioneer will allow bidder only to bid up to the amount of funds the bidder is proven to have in his or her possession. In addition to cash, the trustee will accept cashier's checks drawn on a state or national bank, a check drawn by a state or federal credit union, or a check drawn by a state or federal savings and loan association, savings association, or savings bank specified in section 5102 of the financial code and authorized to do business in this state. Checks must be made payable to the order of auction.com LLC or to the order of the bidder's name. All third parties tendering funds in the form of cash must comply with the IRS reporting requirements. Publication 1544. For more information, see www.irs.gov. During the bidding process, auctioneer may, at the instruction of the trustee, enter subsequent bids on behalf of the beneficiary up to the amount of the total obligation that is due. All bids must be net bids to the trustee. The purchaser must pay all costs of transfer, including title insurance, if any, all taxes and reporting fees. During the period between the sale and the trustee's issuance of the trustee's deed, bids accepted by the trustee cannot be withdrawn or canceled. The announcing of the postponements, followed by any cancellations, will begin in about 15 minutes. Please note that all postponements are listed on the website at www.auction.com and also noted on the board. So you're going to wait 15 minutes before you do your postponements and cancels?